I'm the CEO and co-founder of Quedex. Uh, Quedex is a crypto derivative, uh, der derivatives exchange. We are domiciled and regulated here in Gibraltar. Uh, currently, we offer products on the BTC USD exchange rate, uh, futures and options, and we are planning to expand to other crypto assets soon. Uh, so this will be a short presentation and the topic is quite advanced, so there will be a lot of uh, simplifications during this presentation, so uh, please excuse me for that. Uh, so my topic is hedging and trading crypto volatility with futures and options, and uh, this slide has the um, um, largest number of words, words on it. Uh, throughout the whole presentation, I will be showing some pictures and charts further. So let me make sure that we are on the same line uh, with respect to what is written here. So uh, hedging and trading should be pretty clear for everyone. Crypto volatility is something we are experiencing every day. Uh, the most in in interesting bit here might be futures and options and uh, a short Q&A. So uh, who knows what futures are? Okay, uh, most of the people. Who has traded crypto futures? Okay, uh, very little people. Uh, who knows what options are? Okay, also quite a lot. And who has traded crypto options? No one, okay. Yeah, this is quite a novel topic. Uh, so let me just quickly recap. So um, for the use of this presentation, a uh, futures contract um, is a contract between two parties, the buyer and the seller, who agree for a price uh, in a certain point in future, for example, in uh, one month's time, and they agree for a price, for example, 6,000 US dollars for a single Bitcoin. And uh, both parties are obliged to execute a transaction at that point in time. So the buyer buys and the seller sells uh, this asset. Trading futures involves leverage. You might have had uh, 5x, 25x, 100x leverage. And what the bucket shops tell you is that uh, you may use leverage to increase your profits. So what they don't tell you is that you may also uh, multiply your losses. Uh, we will treat leverage here as a uh, risk management tool. Um, and leverage is because futures are margin. So if you are tra trading a uh, 100,000 contract, you need to deposit only as a collateral only a portion of that, so let's say 10%, and you're playing with 10x leverage. Options are, are similar, so they are also contracts um, for a future point in time to um, transact certain asset for a fixed price. But now what is different is that the buyer of an option has the right and not the obligation, as in the case of future, to execute this transaction. So either to buy or, or sell um, an asset in the future. So this will be enough um, for this presentation. And what I want to talk about is how to use these tools, futures and options, to manage risks associated with this. So crypto volatility. So um, let us learn a few characteristics of uh, this animal of crypto volatility. So what we have here on this chart, the green line is price of Bitcoin over time. It looks a, a, a bit weird because uh, we have logarithmic scale over there. And the blue line is Bitcoin volatility. So I've, I've taken Bitcoin as the most prominent example. Other crypto assets have even higher volatility. And um, the few points to make here is, as we said, we, uh, we've experienced high volatility, volatility at the end of last year. So we, we, th we thought that was huge volatility. But once we look at this chart here, this volatility was relati relatively small to what happened in the past with Bitcoin. So this is the first point to make. And the second point to make, it is if we look closer at the chart, 
Uh, since 2014 to the beginning of uh, 2017, we see a slow decline of the trend of volatility. And this is interesting because this has been accompanied by um, evolution of futures markets in Asia. So generally, um, developing futures and derivatives markets help dampen the volatility. And um, let us now compare volatility of this asset, so Bitcoin, to other volatilities. What we have here is, again, blue line is Bitcoin volatility, and the purple line down here is volatility of gold to US dollar, and the green line is volatility of US dollar to euro. And so this is, this is um, very obvious once you look at it that volatility of Bitcoin is orders of magnitude higher than volatility of traditional assets. And volatility, some, some may say that it is cool that Bitcoin has that volatility. It attracts a lot of attention, uh, speculative, um, speculative volume of trading, and you can profit from the price rising. But on the other hand, as Simon said at his presentation uh, in the morning, people also want stability. So once you are doing business in crypto, for example, uh, if you are a miner, you, volatility of the crypto asset is a risk for you because you have some future future um, income of crypto and you don't know what the price will be at that future point in time. Um, if you are doing an ICO, you rise funds in crypto and the value of these funds also fluctuates. Uh, you may also be a payment uh, provider that handles crypto for a short period of time or you may be just uh, hold, holding cryptocurrencies and so you are exposed to that volatility. So let, let me move to the, I'd say, trading part of the presentation. So a few ideas of how you may use futures and options uh, to manage these risks. So uh, let's have some payoffs. I will skip this one. So what this, what this picture shows is a payoff of a futures contract. What we have on the X axis is BTC USD price and on the Y axis we have profit and loss. It is all at the time of expiration of the contract, so at the very end once the transaction is executed. And what we immediately see is the higher the price, the higher the profit and the lower the, the price, the, the, lower, the, the higher the loss. And we immediately see that this is just a linear instrument. So how you may use that? So Let's say you own Bitcoin and you think that, that its price is going to fall uh, in the near future. So you may consider doing two options. First is selling your Bitcoins for fiat and then you will escape crypto and get fiat with all the consequences involved with selling crypto to fiat. And the second option is hedging your bitcoins with a futures contract. So if you short sell a futures, so this, that would be this plot inverted on the X axis, then you will keep value of your bitcoin holdings fixed in the terms of USD value. Um, let me move further. Once we move to options, things start to become even more interesting. This is a payoff of an options contract. This is a call option uh, which gives the buyer right to buy an asset in the future point in time. And what we see is that uh, the profit potential is unlimited, but the loss potential is limited only to a certain value, which is known as the option premium or price of the option. And this is this optionality of, um, of the option contract. You may also look at an option as an insurance. So you pay a certain amount of, of money up front for such a contract in order to be insured against uh, either price rising or price falling. But you may say that, okay, I'm a Bitcoin miner and I don't mind price rising. I'd like to be exposed 
to the rise of price and I'd like to protect my downside. So this is what you may use a put option uh, for, which gives you the right to sell the asset at expiration. And you, once you buy that, you have an insurance against price falling down and you have unli still unlimited upside potential. So once we know both a call option and a put option, uh, we may move to something even more interesting. And this is, this is something where um, things start to be really cool. This is, this is a payoff of an option strategy called the straddle. And how did we achieve that? So we bought a single put option and a single call option. And as you may see, using this strategy, you earn regard, regardless of the direction of the price. If the price rises, you earn. If the price goes down, you also earn. You, we may also say that if the price moves a lot, you earn. And if the price moves a little, you lose, but only your, your loss is limited. And so you, once you look at it, this is something very interesting happening here because once the volatility is rising, you are earning and when the volatility is falling, you are losing. So you are long volatility and this is volatility trading and this is something really, really interesting which is not possible on the spot market and on the market where you may trade only futures. So there are a large number of different option strategies that you may employ. This is, this is basically the, the, the simplest that, that you may use. Um, the options are unlimited. I hope I've given you an insight during this, this short presentation uh, to that such derivatives markets may be useful for the crypto community in order to let them manage risks and uh, protect their, ho their holdings and achieve this stability which is, which is needed so often. If you'd like to learn more, uh, here is our website of, of our platform. Our platform is also uh, already live, so, may, so you may trade futures and options and execute such, such strategies or similar strategies. We are also uh, present on Twitter and te Telegram, you may join our community and we have some huge plans later this year. We are about to get licensed here in Gibraltar. We are in the phase one of uh, licensed entities about to get the license. We are also planning an ICO so uh, stay tuned for further news and if you'd like to ask me some questions I will be around here. Thank you very much.